I'd like to call the meeting to order for the district at Chetland Council. And can I get the opening statement read, please? As we gather today on the traditional territory of the Treaty 8 Nations to conduct the business of the District of Chetland, we do so knowing that we are privileged to serve the citizens of this community and we shall endeavor to conduct our business in their best interest. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, adoption of the agenda. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Carried. Okay, we'll get on to the item of Mayor, Mayor Declaration Oath of Office. I, Alan Coutre, do solemnly affirm that I am qualified to hold the office of mayor for the District of Chetland to which I have been elected. I have compiled with the provisions of the, I have complied with the provisions of the Local Government Act in relations to my election to this office. I will abide by all rules related to conflicts of interest under the community charter. I will carry out my duties with integrity. I will be accountable for the decisions that I make and the actions that I take. In the course of my duties, I will be respectful to others. I will demonstrate leadership and collaboration. I will perform the duties of my office in accordance with the law. You can cheer now. <laughs> oh, I guess my family's not here. There we go. Thank you, Dan, very much. Okay, Councillor's Declaration of Oath of Office. You need to let um, outgoing council go first. If so wish, let's do it. <laughs> okay, outgoing counselors. Sure, can I have the mic? <laughs> sure, thank you, Your Worship. Well, I just want to say thank you for the last um, 11 years on council. And I have to thank those who have elected me in the beginning and supported me in the last 11 years so I could represent Chetland to the best of my ability. I feel like I'm leaving Chetland in great hands, a super capable council, wonderful mayor, brilliant staff, and you guys are in great hands, and we're in great hands. So I just wanna say thank you. And uh, I've got one more item. Rochelle, do you uh, come to the mayor's? Uh... Oh, thank you. 
very much. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. For Yeah. Everybody's watching. Be careful. <laughs> Thanks, Deanne. Yeah. I guess everybody's watching me now, right? All right. There we go. Okay, shall we bring up the new council? Kayla, Andrea, Julie. <coughs> Kayla McDonald, the counselor, welcome. Julia Nelson, new counselor, welcome. Andrea Smith, new counselor, welcome. And to the uh, incumbents, Councilor Ward, Councilor Deck, Councilor Bazandowski, and Mayor-elect Alan Kutre, this is your new council for 2023, or 2022 to 2026. Thank you very much. <coughs> We will get the declarations read. <coughs> Steve. Water. Thanks. Please stand and raise your right hand. And please read the oath. I, Melvin Deck, do solemnly affirm that I am qualified to hold the office of Councillor for the District of Chetwin to which I have been elected. I have complied with provisions of the Local Government Act in relation to my election to this office. I will abide by all rules related to conflicts of interest under the community charter. I will carry out my duties with integrity. I will be accountable for the decisions that I make and the actions that I take in the course of my duties. I will be respectful of others. I will demonstrate leadership and collaboration. I will perform my duties of my office in accordance with the law. conflicts of interest under the community charter. I will carry out my, my duties with integrity. I will be accountable for the decisions that I make and the actions that I take in the course of my duties. 
I will be respectful of others. I will demonstrate leadership and collaboration. I will perform the duties of my office in accordance with the law. Smith do solemnly affirm that I am qualified to hold the Office of Councillor for the District of Chowan, to which I have been elected. I have complied with the provisions of the Local Government Act in relation to my election to this office. I will abide by all rules related to conflicts of interest under the Community Charter. I will carry out my duties with integrity. I will be accountable for the decisions that I make and the actions that I take in the course of my duties. I will be respectful of others. I will demonstrate leadership and collaboration. I will perform the duties of my office in accordance with the law. McDonald do solemnly affirm that I am qualified to hold the office of councillor for the district of Chetwin to which I've been elected. I have compi complied with the provisions of the local government act in relation to my election to this office. I will abide by all the rules related to conflicts of interest under the community charter. I will carry out my duties with integrity. I will be accountable for the decisions that I make and the actions that I take in the course of my duties. I will be respectful of others. I will demonstrate leadership and collaboration. I will perform the duties of my office in accordance with the law. Julia Nelson do solemnly affirm that I am qualified to hold the office of councillor for the district of Chetwin to which I have been elected. I have complied with the provisions of the Local Government Act in relation to my election to this office. I will abide by all rules related to conflicts of interest under the Community Charter. I will carry out my duties with integrity. I will be accountable for the decisions that I make and the actions that I take in the course of my duties. I will be respectful of others. I will demonstrate leadership and collaboration. I will perform the duties of my office in accordance with the law. Basandowski do solemnly affirm that I am qualified to hold the office of councillor for the district of Chetwin to which I have been elected. I have complied with the provisions of the Local Government Act in relation to my election to this office. I will abide by the rules related to the conflict of interest under the community charter. I will carry out my duties with integrity. I will be accountable for the decisions I make and the actions that I take in the course of my duties. I will be respectful of others. I will demonstrate leadership and collaboration, I will perform the duties of my office in accordance with the law. session. Thank you very much for uh, for volunteering, putting your name forward, councillors. It's, uh, it's very respectful of you to think that uh, you have the opportunity to make a difference 
and I say think because that's what I thought when I got here. So, but anyway, we've got uh, four years together and uh, the outgoing counselors, it's a great opportunity for us to thank them. So it's uh, something that, uh, that I do and I will do in my speech. Uh, I will start that off. But for, uh, for the time that it takes for us for 30 seconds, and that's what it's going to take right now for us. We're all going to stand for the people that's left us in the last year, two years, three years, four years, and beyond that in the past. So we're going to take 30 seconds to reflect. And we're all going to stand. For those that do not uh, want to stand, that's fine. But we're going to take 30 seconds. This is the beginning of my speech. So let's, uh, let's do that right now. Thank you. <coughs> Can I ask come ten? Can I ask come in ten now? That's meaning that thank you and thank you all. When uh, when I got on this planet, I was a Cree Indian, and I'm going to leave a Cree Indian. But in the meantime, I'm a Chapman, uh, I'm a Chapman citizen, and I'll always be a Chapman citizen until. I leave this planet. So with that being said, I'd like to thank you all. Thank you for trusting Alan Coutre to be your mayor for another four years. I am humbled by your confidence and truly am. Uh, learning, <clears throat> learning how to be myself in front of others and peers uh, and, acknowledge the, <laughs> and to acknowledge them and respect them. And without, uh, without breaking anybody's uh, feelings and bending it in the wrong direction, it was a pretty hard lesson to learn. Uh, I was kept uh, kept in place by the outgoing uh, counselor, uh, both uh, them that uh, had the experience that I didn't have. They showed me which direction should be uh, the right direction. I'd like to thank them for that. And uh, she knows she's sitting here uh, listening to me thank her again because I thanked her when she did uh, set me straight and then helped me along the way, and I'm thanking her once again. Thank you very much. So, and I'd like to thank the outgoing staff, uh, Carol Newsom, a uh, great lady, great CAO, and a great person. Uh, maybe not all in those orders, but that's the way I'm saying them today. So, and I'd like to welcome the new staff member, uh, Steve McLean. So I'd like to thank you to the seat. And the council only has one, uh, one employee. We learned that. And we're going to continue to abide by that. And that's Steve. So when stuff has to happen in our council and mayor, councillors, we have one employee. And we take it to Steve. Uh, thank you, uh, Steve, for accepting the position as uh, CAO. And, uh, I'd like to say thank you to the outgoing counselors. It, it's quite a step to step forward and, and make it a commitment to us. When I say us, I mean it just isn't to Chapman, it's to the whole outside world that we commit ourselves, our time, and our space to when we go out and meet other people to tell them I am from Chapman, I represent Chapman, I'm responsible for how I, uh, I act outside of Chapman. And that's the way uh, I, I represented it and I try to represent it. And sometimes it doesn't happen that way. And like here in Chetwin, some of the PRRD members and uh, directors, what uh, Councillor Galbraith did here, they did over there. And I'm very pleased with that. I've learned a lot. I've definitely uh, stepped into something and it smelled sometimes and sometimes it was uh, roses. So thank you very much for all that help. Uh, I want to speak a little bit on change. 
Change in, changes everyone's work or job. It should not fall on one person or a fraction of society. Working at the ground level, growing together as a community to love and support and connect with each other and be caring to deliver, uh, in the delivery of a message uh, that <coughs> love, a message of love, support, and connect with each other and uh, to care for one another. This is not work that reveres special expertise or specialization. Rather, it's work that calls all of us of all who and who wish to be the very best there of themselves. I would like to touch you on the point of governance now. Something that I've learned over the years, I couldn't even pronounce the word, and uh, Rochelle, Rochelle says, it's governance. What the hell does that mean? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I said, what, what does that mean? Anyway. So anyway, on governance, a point of governance in the community like Chetland about local government. Local government has limited influence over significant public policies, decisions made by BC and Canada, and generally keep little wealth despite being impacted by policies that affect them the most. Examples, uh, not, not in any particular order, Site C, Hydro Dam. Natural gas pipelines, coastal gas like TC Energy. From these, we get maybe paychecks, but we don't uh, get anything as, maybe we sell a little bit of water, but we don't get anything per se in uh, any big uh, uh, amounts, but we get paychecks from them when we go to work for them. This is what uh, I'm saying today. And uh, we've got these other uh, partnership agreements, it's the Caribou, where it's taking land uh, out to uh, for the uh, preservation of caribou. And uh, the Blueberry River First Nations uh, court case, limiting sawmills acquisition of fiber. So these are just small things and uh, being a sawmill community to start, now we've moved uh, beyond that to oil, gas, and others, so coal mining. So we have these things in our community that uh, we highly respect because they do give us the opportunity to live and to acquire better things in our life. So this is why it's very important. Uh, uh, affecting forestry is old growth right now. It's the old growth system that we have uh, put in place. This is a BC uh, thing, not Canada, BC put it in. So uh, one of the things that happens in our community and in any other community in the north is northern health. So nursing and doctors. At this moment right now, it's nursing. We have uh, a situation when I got, uh, when I sat as mayor four years ago was doctors. And the council prior to me uh, built a clinic and uh, which was great. Says so, uh, build it, they will come in that great movie of the baseball you know, whatever, because I watch uh, TV. But uh, to uh, have that put upon a council to say that health is very important and you need to do something about it. You need to do something about it. I need to do something about it. But when it's out of our control, it seems like hard thing to, to grasp. But when, when you have to advocate for the right things, you step up, you step up, you step up, and the rest of the council, we all step up together to do the right thing. And this is one of the things that we do as council and mayor and staff. Staff is a driving force be, behind council. If we didn't have all the policies in front of us with the little stuff that points out, say we need to have this addressed, we sometimes go this way. And we'd like to thank staff from pulling us from the right, pulling us from the left, or is it from the right and left? So this is some of the stuff our staff does for us as councillors and mayor. They will put us in the right path, and it's our responsibility to agree or disagree as council. So that's the opportunity why we are sitting as council and mayor. We have that opportunity here in a democratic society. 
Uh, with that, I would say that uh, words do matter. Words do matter in a way that affects people in different, way, different uh, aspects of their lives. So when we talk about lives matter, and we've seen it, every child matters, every word matters. So when we talk about words and how things affect you and myself, Indian, and you put different words beside it. Myself, indigenous, you know, this stuff that belongs there, but belongs over here, then you put words on either side of it. That's the different meaning. I only take that for example because I sit here and I have the opportunity to speak what I have on my mind and what I've written. So when you go down out there, words do matter. So when we talk to each other, words do matter. Always be careful in what you say. Aspects of words matter in ensuring that the meaning remains true where the substance of them is not devalued or altered in any way and reduces their meaning. So that's where I get this from. I probably pulled it from a dictionary. No, I didn't. I got it, I got it from a speech from to be an in-betweener. That meaning from where I come from to where you come from. That's the space in between us, and we have to get those two together. And I'd like to thank you for electing me as uh, mayor. And one last thing, family first. We always talk, I always talk about that when it comes down to family. Family is the most important thing next to breathing. So you've got to be, have a family, and if you have family members, and something happens, it's your responsibility to make sure that they're. But, if you're not healthy, you have to be healthy in order to help other people. And that's why a healthy family is very important to me. And if you need that, we will get it here in the council. As a family, we move together as a family. And supporting family, staff for sure. Thank you very much for, uh, once again, for electing uh, Al Coutre as mayor. And thank you. And if uh, any councillors would like to step up to the mic, this is your time. Your Worship, if I can. I'd just like to uh, bid my farewells to Councillor Galbraith and Councillor Weisgerber. It's been a pleasure working with both of you for eight years now. Um, been a lot of fun traveling and, and going to different conventions and learning things together and agreeing on some things and fighting over other things and uh, I think it was all respectful though and, and hopefully at the end of the day all for the good of our, of our town. And I'd also like to acknowledge the old guard in the crowd today, Merlin Nichols. He gave many, many years if not decades of service to the District of Chetwin and I really enjoyed being on the council under your leadership, and it's really nice visiting with you and seeing you here tonight. Okay. I'd, I'd also like to thank Rochelle and Laura and... Um, Jocelyn. Pardon me? Jocelyn. Jocelyn, yes. Um, Rochelle and Laura, especially because we, it was with, was with them for several years, and uh, they were always a, a, an even keel and, and or a, a hard line and uh, they respected everything, every, pretty much every word that came out of their mouths and uh, we hope to see you around. I'd also like to thank the three outgoing councillors. Uh, you will be very much missed. Uh, when I started this four years ago, I really felt that Councillor Albreth was a mentor for me. And I've enjoyed it very much and look forward to the next four years with the new council. Thanks. I just want to say thank you to the outgoing counselors as well. And I'm sad not to serve with you guys because I have had a personal relationship with Jocelyn and Rochelle and not so much Laura, but I've seen her out and about and had some excellent conversations with her. And 
you guys are my idols. So I'm so happy to be sitting up here. I'm sad not to see you across the table. So I'm excited to work with some amazing individuals as well. Thank you. I didn't know we were preparing speeches, <laughs> but I will just say it's a great honor and I look forward to making my community proud. Thank you. <laughs> it's your turn. Now I have to learn how to use the mic. <laughs> um, I'm excited to be here and it will be an interesting and I'm sure full of learning next four years and I'm excited to get to know the rest of the counselors and me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we will uh, have appointments of Deputy Mayor. Have you got that list? <coughs> Councilor Bezendos? Yep. I'll make the recommendation that the following council members be appointed to Deputy Mayor for the designated periods of 2022 and 2023. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Carry. Council committee appointments. I'll make that recommendation that council members be formally appointed to committees, boards, and commissions for 2023 as outlined on attachment A to this report. Second. Any discussion? So I would like to um, possibly discuss uh, my replacement on the library board. Uh, I've been there for four years now. It's been a very great learning experience. Um, but I also think that we should discuss um, perhaps changing it up every two years. At uh, the recent orientation we had, um, there was a suggestion, some very good reasons for it. Um, for example, you know, I look at this list and I see the Northeast Regional Advisory Committee. I know um, nothing about that committee because although I've been on council and of course I can do my own research, um, but um, you know, I, I definitely see a lot of benefit in council not so much sharing, but possibly every two years being appointed to different committees and liaisons. Uh, yes, very good observation. So uh, we will uh, we will discuss that uh, in uh, with other councillors. And uh, very good suggestion. We shall uh, look at that in the near future. Thanks, uh, Councillor Work. Any more discussion? I have a question. <clears throat> Through council last year, or the last two years, I was appointed to the BC Hydro GoFund um, through council, I believe. Does that mean that um, Councillor Nelson is now in that position, or do we both hold a seat on the BC Hydro GoFund? Mike? Oh, sorry. It won't come on. Sorry, We've got to fix it. <laughs> uh, yes, Julia will uh, be the representative for that. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Carry. Appointment of auditor for the district at Chatwin. Make, a, make the recommendation that the chartered accounting firm of Sandra Rose Bone Grindle LLP be appointed as auditor for the District of Cheltenham for 2023. Second. Discussion? Not hearing any. All those in favor? Carry. Appointments to Civic Properties Commission. I'll make that recommendation that council authorize the following council representative to be representatives to be appointed to the Civic Properties Commission in 2023, Mayor Kutry and Councillors Bazandowski and Councillor Work. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Carried. 
Okay. Appointment, appointment to the Peace River Regional District Board. I'll make the recommendation that Mayor Coutre be appointed as director and Councillor Deck be appointed as alternate director to the Peace, Re Peace River Regional Board for 2023. Second. Discussion. This is one of the items that we will discuss uh, along with uh, Councillor Wark's uh, a discussion on appointments. So uh, I know uh, Councillor uh, Deck has been on there for quite a few years, so we will uh, discuss that matter too. Thank you. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Carried. Twenty twenty. 2023 council meeting schedule. I will make the recommendation that the 2023 regular council meetings be held in the council chambers at 4.30 on the following dates as listed. And that the 2022 council meeting schedule be made available to the public by posting a copy at the municipal office. Second. Discussion? Hearing any, all those in favor? Carry. Do we have uh, drinks, snacks? We are all welcome to the snack table over there. And uh, thank you for uh, coming and uh, entertaining us and giving us part, some of your time to uh, see the new council and some of the old councillors and the real old mayor, right? So <laughs> thank you for uh, being here. And uh, we are looking for adjournment. Second. All those in favor? Okay, let's sit here for a little while. Have, have some food and drinks. Thank you.